Uh, let's talk about electric vehicles for a moment. I'm a big fan, been electric for a while. Now we are seeing more of them on the roads these days, but are there some unintended consequences of this EV revolution? Apparently some are saying the answer is yes. According to an article, EVs reflect how tailored our roads are, our cities, our cars, and our personal driving habits, and are especially for our technology. Now, according to a new report out by Vox Media, here are the top five things to take note of if you're thinking of getting an EV. First, EVs are pretty quiet, which means people may not know that you are coming. That could be dangerous for pedestrians and bicyclists. A lot of EVs have sounds that the car makes on purpose to let people know that you're coming. Mm -hmm. Another one, the, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is trying to require cars to add warning sounds when driving at low speeds. It is very quiet. Then there is the weight of an electric vehicle. They can weigh hundreds of pounds more than a gas-powered vehicle, vehicle because of that battery. Yeah. Those extra pounds can be dangerous for pedestrians and passengers in other vehicles if a collision happens. Okay. They could also be a problem for roads with weight limits. We should mention that. Mm -hmm. Now, weather can cause a chemical reaction with the lithium-ion batteries by slowing down the car in lower temperatures. EVs have a super fast acceleration, they do. which means that you need to be cautious when you are navigating the road. And finally, EVs generally need less maintenance and repairs, but you'll have to find a skilled mechanic who will know how to handle them. Now, all of those things are interesting, but I don't think it's a showstopper, Vox Media, because there are things that come with gas-powered vehicles that are ins and outs, and you have to deal with a lot of different things. It feels like it was written by somebody who doesn't have a <laughs> because being new to the community, uh, I love it here. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, those things were not deal breakers, and if I'm a pedestrian, I don't want to be hit by an EV, but I also don't want to be, be hit, hit by, by a regular car. car. And some cars are just, engines are quiet. Yeah. And everybody has a thing in their ear nowadays anyway. Yeah. When they're walking with their walk, uh, with their ear pod, pad, thingy, mm -hmm. whatever you ear, call it. Ear pod thingy. That's cap. Come on, Lee. Did I say it right? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, I, I, we'll see. I do know the EVs are coming no matter what, so everybody needs to prepare themselves. Yeah, we can't keep delaying. Right. Like, the it's trains happening. left the station. It's I will say quickly the part about them being quiet. Mm -hmm. I do sometimes, when I, especially when I first got the pink Jeep, stop and start it. Because I'm like, is it on? Is it on? And yeah. I, and I, yeah. You, I, you don't hear a thing. Yep. Or feel a thing. Yep. I love it. <laughs> I do. I love it. <laughs>